Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today we will look at another interactive report. In my previous video I've shown a report that is similar to this one. I've explained how you can create a matrix, make it interactive and how the cell highlight works. If you wanna know about all that, the link to that video will be in the description. In this one I'm going to show how to set up a chart and a hyperlink for it. The matrix in this report has a hyperlink set for some of its cells. The hyperlink can open an another report or the page of the same report in another preview tab and pass a set of parameters. This cell has a hyperlink that opens a report just like the one from the previous video with two parameters. But in addition to that, there are also hyperlinks that are set for the category name and for the employee name. They show the chart for the employee or for the category. And the chart is interactive too. You can click one of its values and it will open the page that the cells open. Let's see how this is achieved. The interactivity in this report is based on opening its own pages that rely on parameters. The cell passes two parameters that are nested in one. The values it passes are the text of its column and the text of its row. But let's look at the hyperlink for these cells. The pages those hyperlinks open contain charts, and those charts depend on just one parameter. This one passes only the category name, and this one only the employee name. Let's look at the chart that displays the sales by one employee. It gets the data from the details orders and filters it by the employee's full name. And also groups it by the X value, which is the category name. And so it looks like this. So when we click one of those values, the chart passes a category name to the page that it opens. And the page shows the sales in the chosen category by the chosen employee. But we passed this page just the category name. This worked because we already have a value in the report parameter. Parameters are like global variables. Since we did not change the parameter that stores the employee's name, we still have it in memory. So let's look at how we can make a chart like this one. Firstly, we need to extend the band, place the MS chart object on it and extend it too. Now I'll change the type of the chart. It should be the pie chart. It will get the data from the order details table. This table contains the list of sold products and their financial info. They can be grouped into orders and those orders by employee. This is possible because we have some data relations between the data tables and each product has an order ID. The data here is filtered. The employee's name from the parameter should match the name from the table. The X value is the category name from the product categories. Let's find it in the table. And the Y value is the sum of the orders. It should be calculated using the amount and the discount. We'll copy this formula from the original chart and paste it into ours.
Let's also set up the labels. These are the values. And this tells the engine that the value must be in the currency format. The labels should also be outside of the chart and the connecting line should be visible. The chart style will be concave. And the legend won't be shown. Let's extend the chart a bit more. We also must group the values in the same category and calculate their sum. Just like in the original chart. Let's see how this chart looks like in action. As you can see, we made exactly the same chart. Except for one thing, we did not set up the hyperlink yet. So let's do that now. It should open a report page number 4. The chart lets you select a category, so it should pass the category name to the report page that we are calling. And here is how the chart looks now. Now you know how to set up an interactive chart for a report with interactivity. This was today's lesson on the fastreport.net. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. In the description, you can find a link to the list of articles on FastReport that are sorted by tags.